So problems 10 and 11. Um, 10 was U substitution. You could possibly get a, in fact, you could definitely get away with using a trigonometric trick substitution as well. If you see the square root of x squared minus a squared, then you can try letting x be a times the secant of theta. And that's not necessary here, but it will work it will give you the correct answer. Um, but you can also just use U substitution. You see this composition, you try letting U be the inside function, you have the X that you need, and everything works out fine. 11 was a disaster. There's definitely some kind of typo in 11. This has the form of trig substitution. And I cannot think what you would try other than trig substitution. It's not parts, not U substitution, not partial fractions. It has to be trig substitution except that if we do trig substitution, we wind up with this integral that we can't take, or at least it is possible to take it, but it's a long and tricky process. And it definitely wasn't something I expected you to do. So, I mean, I am but human. I suppose it's possible that I made some mistake early on in the process. And that's why I got such an ugly integral, but I don't think I did. I think the, the integral was itself the problem. There needed to be division by x or something that would allow cancellation to occur, and the integral we wound up with to be simple than it was. So problem 11 is kind of a wash.